As we've just mentioned, rescuers are searching for a group of Australians missing on a boat off the coast of Indonesia after an undersea quake. Well over 20 people are confirmed dead in the area and many more local residents are missing. Late Lines' Peter Lloyd has been working the phones tonight to find out more and he's with me now in the studio. Peter, tell us what happened. Well, a charter company called Sumatran Safari has one boat that's missing. It's called the Southern Cross. On board are several Indonesian crew plus between 8 and 10 Australian nationals who were on a surf holiday. That's the boat there. They haven't been heard from all day and the reason there's concern obviously is that this was uh, the vessel was close to the area where the undersea earthquake struck off Sumatra earlier today. So what sort of effort is underway to find or identify the missing Australians? Uh, one of the missing Australians is quite well known. He's uh, from Sydney in, uh, and known in the surfing community. It's um, Alex McTaggart who's also a former state MP and, uh, and the Mayor of Pittwater. The family, uh, the friends and the Foreign Affairs Department are all trying to reach the men tonight and have been all day by phone so far unsuccessfully. It's understood that there was, there's no sat phone on board. Um, the communications are, are basic. It's a ship to, to, to shore radio. Um, no message has been picked up, so obviously with daylight receding, there's concern about what's happened to these people. Um, but on the upside, the, the good sign is perhaps that no distress signals have been received from the boat either. Um, but several boats are heading to the area tomorrow, uh, several from an Indonesian NGO. Um, one aircraft is being chartered by Australians uh, and some media outlets as well, and also um, uh, foreign affairs officials are heading from Jakarta to the area to try and help as well. OK, so a lot going on there. What about the rest of the damage in Indonesia caused by this undersea quake? Mm. Um, the quake registered at uh, 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale. It's fairly large. Uh, as with disasters like this in the past, the, the, the true scale is, is going to be slow to reveal itself. Tonight, the Indonesian authorities are saying to us that there are 23 locals confirmed dead.